So number nine then from the 2016 Advanced Higher Maths. Here we go. Six mark question. Obtain this integral here for six marks. Now obviously it's going to be integration by parts as soon as you see that product there. So the first thing you've got to decide is which one will you integrate? Which one will you differentiate? Now the marking scheme is a little bit vague here because I've obviously decided on the marks first of all and then how to divvy it up. But basically it's three for each part because you'll need to go through it twice with this one. Well, the first bit is which one are you going to choose to integrate? Which one to differentiate? Well, you don't know how to integrate that one. So it'll be integrate this one. So it'll have to be differentiate that one. Now I'm just indicating my choice this way. If you like, you can write your U's and V's and V dashes at the side. However, the process is quite straightforward. First of all, you integrate, so I'm choosing this one, so that will go up to power 8, and it'll be divided by 8, and this one will be left alone. Now, according to the marking scheme, knowing to use integration by parts and starting the process, so that would be this part would be the first mark, then minus the integral of, this one's been done, so I'll leave it alone and in that form, now it's time to differentiate this one. Now, even before you start this, according to the Martin scheme, it says, correct choice of functions to differentiate and integrate. We had to decide that to begin with, it doesn't matter. And application thereof gives you the second mark. And then it's got the third mark is actually doing this differentiation. Whereas you think it would be in the next line when you actually tidy this up. So differentiating this would be, since it's a function of this, it'll be two times that ln x, multiplied by the derivative of the inside, which is 1 over x. So maybe we'll just put that underneath over x dx. Now, apparently there's all three marks for this because you've chosen which functions to integrate and differentiate. You've started the process and you've carried out the differentiation of the log term. Actually, I'm going to put it until I tidy up. So what does this become? And of course, this is where it becomes annoying because you know that this first part here is just going to keep repeating itself until you get to the answer. Will you be allowed to use dittos? I don't know. So what does this come to? Take all the bits out. You've got a quarter of the integral of, and that goes down to x to the 7 times ln x dx. I'd have put the third mark there once you've got it down to that. Now you've got to start again. So integrate. Differentiate. So it's going to be this again. Then a quarter of, and then just go through the process again. So that'll be up to 8, divide by 8, and leave it alone. And then carry it forward. Now differentiate that, which just becomes 1 over x. Now knowing to start again and beginning it, gives you the next mark. This still needs to be done. I don't think you get the next mark till you do the next line. So, copy it down. Oh, we'd be allowed to use dittos. Could tidy up that first part. 1 upon 32 x to the 8 ln x and then this part's going to be plus 1 over 32 times the integral of x to the 7, it'll go to dx. Now there's still another mark for complete second application, but then there's a mark for simplify. Well, there's not actually an awful lot more to do, because that virtually is it. So I'm presuming completing the application maybe is that, because tidying up just gives you your answer now. So I've got that, term with a square of the log. I've got this term with the log on its own, and then that's just going to go back up to 8 and then divide by 8, so that's 1 over 256, and then a plus C, and that is it finished. So that should be the six marks there. It does mention if you don't put C in, but you should, then you wouldn't be penalised. Now, if you wanted to be fancy, you could tidy up this part of the expression here because there's quite a lot in common. There's x to the power 8 in common, and there's a common denominator here that you could take out. Something you, you do later on, university, you tend to tidy these up. So that, for instance, you could take out x to the 8 and you could take out the greatest denominator, 2, 5, 6, because the rest have got that in common. And then that would leave you with, well, since 8 times 32 is that, that's going to be 32 lots of, so you'll have this little quadratic then in, in log, 32 minus 8 lots of ln x plus 1, and then a plus c. Of course, you don't need this bit. 
The answer to the question stops here. Oh, just go to that 256.